Hi friends, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to share with you my Yoimiya build, which is also a free-to-play friendly build. I'll be going over her stats, her artifacts, her weapon, and also what kinds of teams I like to run with Yoimiya. And hopefully some of this information can help you out with building your Yoimiya and getting some extra damage out of her when you do showcases or just maybe in general open world and abyss teams. So let's go ahead and get started. Keep in mind, this is just what works for me. Everyone's Yoimiya is going to look a little bit different. So we've got 2.2k attack and 140 elemental mastery. I do try to get a little bit of EM in those substats. My artifacts are a little bit copium, but you gotta work with what you get. So we've got 51 crit rate to 167 crit damage. This is definitely a very attainable crit ratio. Ideally, I would have a little bit more crit rate, but that's okay. I've been playing the game long enough that I'm fortunate enough to have an R5 Rust, which in my opinion is her best in slot 4 star weapon, but even if you don't have refinements, it's still a really fantastic option. And you can also try the craftable Hamayumi or the Stringless. For her artifacts, I like running 4-piece Shimanawa set. I just find this one to be the most versatile and doesn't require me to change up my artifacts too often depending on the team that I'm running. I like to run an Attack Sands, a Pyro Goblet, and a crit rate or crit damage circlet. I do not have any constellations on my Yoimiya, but as far as her talents go, my queen deserves the best. She is double crowned. I have crowned her normal attack and her skill. Now let's talk about some team comps. Yoimiya is really flexible. There's a lot of different teams that I like running with her, and the one on screen right now is probably my number one favorite at the moment. One of the main things you'll notice is that I like running Bennett on almost every single one of my Yoimiya teams, just based off extra attack and extra pyro damage. Since Bennett's attack buff is based off his base attack, I make sure to give him a weapon that has a high base attack such as the Alley Flash, which is a 4 star weapon you can attain on the weapon banner. I love to run Yelon on this team as well, just for the vape, and also Yelon's passive gives Yoimiya extra damage the longer she's on field. However, you can easily replace Yelon with Xingqiu. And of course, my girl Yunjin. Stack as much defense as you can on her, level her burst. You don't even need constellations on her. She's an amazing Yoimiya support. You can run her on 4-piece Husk or even 4-piece Archaic Petra. I also enjoy running Mono Pyro teams, in which case I'll swap out Yelan for Zhongli and run the Geo Resonance, which is really strong, and also Shields and Tenacity buff. Diona is another really fantastic option. She provides heals, shields, and elemental mastery, so occasionally you can trigger some melts with Yoimiya. I also really love running Sucrose on my Yoimiya teams. She provides a ton of elemental mastery for any kind of melt or vape team. But on top of that, if you have C6 Sucrose, you also get elemental damage. When, if used correctly, you can get pyro damage bonus. Another really fun one you can run with Yoimiya is Fischl. You'll trigger tons of overload, and if you have Fischl C6, you'll constantly be applying electro and doing electro damage. You can also use Beto or the Raiden Shogun instead of Fischl. It's just really up to you. And as I mentioned before, you can also use Xingqiu in order to do Vape Team. You could run him with Instructor's set or Noblesse set to give Yoimiya another buff. Last but not least, I just wanted to go over other artifact sets that you can use on Yoimiya if you don't have a 4-piece Shimanawa like I do. 4-piece Crimson, which is a really, really great one for her as well, especially if you're doing reaction teams such as Melt, vape, or overload. If you happen to farm the newest domain, perhaps you already have a four-piece Echoes set laying around, and that's also a really great one for her. If all else fails, you could do two-piece Crimson Witch and two-piece Attack. I really hope this was helpful in showing you how I build my Yoimiya and the different ways that you can build her. Yoimiya is a very versatile character in terms of team comp and has a ton of damage potential when you build her properly. Feel free to comment with any questions if you still have any, and if you've decided to wish for Yoimiya on her upcoming rerun, I wish you the best of luck. Catch you next time!